Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet again, uh, back with another episode about Immutable JS, which is Facebook's Immutable Data Structures Library. Uh, for those that missed it, you might want to check out. I have a playlist going, including an introduction, which is how to install Immutable JS and getting up and running with it. Um, but today we're going to talk about one of their data structures, which are maps. Um, so they provide these seven data structures down here. We're going to cover each one of them and just talk a little bit about what they are, what they're good for, things like that. Uh, so I'm going to pop back over here and I've got this index.js file going from the first video where I just required immutable library, I made a new map, and then I had done some other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. Um, so basically maps, uh, sometimes called like hashes, they're just like this key value pairs. Um, they're kind of like an object in JavaScript, something like that, except uh, maps can have, um, uh, they've got a bunch of different methods on them, basically provided by this library. Um, so it's pretty cool. So I just wanted to talk about uh, how to create them, we can see here, but some of the methods that they have uh, and what you can do with them, things like that. So just kind of going through, one of the methods that Immutable provides is is map, um, and so you can go ahead and run something like Let's see, console log, and then we can do map immutable dot map dot is map. Well, let me make sure I got that right. Is map? Yep. Uh, and then you can put something in like map one, something like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and save out of here, and we can see that's true. Whereas if you had something like um, var map two, and it was just a simple JavaScript array or something like that. You place it there and then run node on it, uh, you would see that's false. Uh, so you can use that at any time to check whether something you're working with uh, is an actual immutable map data structure. Um, it's also got setter and getter methods. Uh, the one thing that you'll notice with all these immutable libraries is that the setter methods are going to behave a little bit differently because they're not allowed to actually mutate anything. Uh, and so what you would see is like um, if you did, you know, like map one dot set and you tried to set a uh, to be a hundred or something like that. Um, it's going to behave a little bit differently than maybe you're used to. Um, I think actually the syntax is this. And then we go ahead and run it. Oh, sorry. Still got this is map going on here. So if we just delete all that and try to console log the map itself, um, we'll see that A is not actually set to 50 or 100 or whatever I put in there, and that's because, like I said before, these can't be mutated. And so these uh, setters on all these different data structures won't actually change uh, the map that they're working on. They'll return a new one. So you'd have to do something like var map 2 equals map 1 set A to 100. Now if we console log map 2 here, uh, we can see that it is in fact changed. Um, so that one's pretty useful. Uh, the getters work you know, very much like you would expect to. So you could console log map one dot get uh, a something like that. Uh, run node on it, and you'd see one. Um, so the getters will work really normal. You just pass in what key you want to get. The setters work a little bit differently. They'll return a new uh, version of the map. Um, let's see. They've also got um, the ability to merge. Um, so we could do something like, um, let me think for a second, okay, so we've got, let's say, we've got map 1 here, which is A1, B2, C3, and then we'll have like map, if change that one, map 2, and this one will be like, uh, just kind of, let's contrived, it'll go where this one is taking off, so D4, E5. Six, something like that. Uh, so we've got these like two maps that go pretty well together. <laughs> this bell is ringing a lot. Um, and if we wanted to do something like merge them, we could do um, uh, one or the other. Again, we can't mutate either of those, so we'd have to do something like var map three equals, and then we could do um, you know map one merge map two, uh, and then we can console log. Three. Let's go ahead and print that out. 
So we can see that it does a1, b2, c3, d4, e5, f6. Uh, and I think the, the difference here between which one goes on which side for whether you do map 1, merge map 2, or map 2, merge map 1, is just going to be precedence if there's a collision. Uh, so if you're worried about a collision, um, you know, whichever one is the is set first, is set as the parent, is going to win that collision. Um, okay, so you can merge them, you can set things, you can get things. Um, you can delete things by key as well. So if you had, um, go back to just map one here, and then you wanted to remove like the C key for it, you could do var map two equals map one. This is gonna be very similar to set because it can't actually mutate it. Um, map one dot delete, uh, and then you pass in whatever key you want deleted. Uh, and then if we go ahead and change that, we'll see that it returns a new map with just those two keys. Uh, so yeah, like you can get, you can set, you can delete, you can merge. Um, I think that's a pretty good way to cover it. If you check out their docs here, they have, um, you know, under each one, they've got a bunch of examples of things. They're a little bit tough to read, but they'll at least give you an idea of what you can do. So like you can get into like things like a, a deep merge, which is if you have nested maps within maps, things like that, but everything really stays, uh, follows the same logic that I've showed so far. Uh, so I think I'm gonna call it there on the maps tutorial. Um, yep, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos on immutable JS data structures. Thanks.